Hello! In this video, I want to introduce you to the basics of working with a builder. For demo purposes, let's make a simple time reporting application from scratch. I'm on the home page of the App Builder. I press Try It Yourself button and give a name to the web page I'm going to create. Create leads me to the web page editor. Let's start with the layout. I split the group box and add a couple of rows. Notice the rows columns can be split too. Let's add some fields for our time entry page. I create them by simply dragging items from the left side menu. Every field should be given a distinct name. In our case, the first field is a text field called Description. Let's create two more fields, Start Time and End Time, to hold data about beginning and end of work. Each element in the page can be customized using Properties section. Let's make Field Description multi-line. We don't need Write Group Box except for layouting purposes, so we'll hide it by setting its hidden property. I save the web page. Now I can publish the app. During the publishing, App Builder generates new executable file, stops current container with previous version, and restart container with the new one. All the process takes about 40 to 50 seconds. Application has started. Message tells me that I can open the app and start using it. Link to time entry page is automatically added to the menu. Let's fill the data and save our record. Actually, I don't need the seconds here, but I'll fine-tune it later by choosing Write Formatter for this field. Here you can see our record in the table. I've just shown how to make a web page in a visual way. It's also possible to develop an app. Starting with the data modeling approach, let's assume we have to report expenses on each project separately. To do this, each time report should have information about project it belongs to. Let's go to Data Types page and create a new data type and call it Project. For demonstration purposes, it's enough to create a single field name of string data type which will hold project name. Let's return to Time Entry page. Details the three fields we have created in a visual way. Here, let's add another field called Project. We choose Project Data Type for it. If you have an experience with database design, you can think that we have created a table called Project and Add Column with Foreign Key referencing it to Time Entry Table to show newly created field, we have to edit a web page view. The fields that are not yet, place it on the web page, are shown in the section Existing Fields. Let's put Project Field at the top and save the form. While Publish Mode allows simple publishing build, Deploy Mode gives more control over deployment options. I accept default deployment scenario, Let's look at the application we have just created. The Link to Project page has been automatically added to the menu. We can create many projects here, but for demo purposes, it will be enough to just have one.
we can update existing time entry record and assign project to it. Let's save the changes and finish our demo with it. I hope it was interesting. Now it's time to experiment with App Builder on your own.